So, uh, thank you, Professor, uh, my colleague, my friend, uh, Professor Ahmed Abdullah Halim Khan, sir, for inviting me uh, to this uh, international webinar conducted by, uh, in collaboration with uh, CGR and Telangana University, on that to government, uh, Giraj College. And uh, my today's topic is, uh, uh, I'll be discussing about uh, biodiversity of mushrooms and so importance, nutri uh, importance of mushroom and its uh, nutritional medicinal properties or values. See, this uh, mushroom, as uh, we know that uh, they are the fleshy fungi and macroscopic which belongs to Bestiopistis uh, class. And we all know that uh, fungi, these are the special group of plants which do not have chlorophyll. So they are unable to synthesize uh, food material. So they may be parasitic in mode of nutrition or saprophytic or sometimes they show symbiotic mode of nutrition also. As far as uh, the species concerned, basically, if we say estimated species of mushroom on Earth, more than 1,40,000 species are there, but uh, out of which only 10% are known species. So 10% uh, means it comes to nearly 14,000 species. So we can say that uh, in the world nearly 14,000 species have been identified and out of which nearly 2,800 to 3,000 are edible in nature and uh, nearly 250 having uh, medicinal, have medicinal properties. As uh, uh, production is concerned about mushroom, as per the data of uh, Food and Agricultural Organization, some countries which are producing mushrooms in the world, leading countries, I can say later on, but uh, here you can see China, Iran, Italy, Poland, Netherlands, United Kingdom, France, Spain, and the larger amount even you can see in the parts of uh, United States of America and in Canada also mushroom production is there. But uh, three major mushroom producing countries in the world are, this is the world, the first uh, topmost leading country in the world, that is uh, China, second uh, United States of America, and the third one is Netherlands. The above three countries itself uh, produce uh, more than 60% of world production of mushroom. But if we see the share of uh, this single country, China, so I was uh, just I was uh, discussing that uh, estimated uh, species of mushroom on earth, uh, nearly 1,40,000 species are there, but uh, uh, only 10,000 species are known to us. So that means here, together I have shown here a picture that uh, in the world at present, we can see that uh, 14,000 species uh, which have been identified, out of which uh, nearly 2,800 to 300 are edible in nature and uh, 250 species are, they are having a medicinal importance as well as medicinal value. When we talk about uh, uh, mushroom producing countries in the world, as far as uh, Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO of United Nations, it says that uh, these are the countries which are producing uh, mushroom in the large extent, China, Iran, Italy, Poland, Netherlands, United Kingdom, France, Spain, and uh, larger area, larger parts of uh, even United States of uh, America is also producing mushroom in a larger extent. Even you can see here, Canada also, Canada is. So three major, three major mushroom producing countries in the world. 
in the world. These are this is this is China, Netherlands. These are the three more uh, important countries where we take uh, nearly sixty percent of world production of mushroom uh, share is coming only from these three countries: China, Netherlands, and uh, sorry, China, Netherlands, and United States of America. But uh, from this single country, if we see from this only single country, China, uh, mushroom production or the share uh, share of production, it is nearly forty six percent of share is there. That means you can imagine that how much uh, production in the world China is doing. This is a very great job. They are not only really producing, they are doing high kind of research. Uh, they are using medicinal uh, mushrooms in medicines. So this uh, China, uh, it uh, stands uh, top in the world in production of mushroom. But as far as the uh, country uh, mushroom production, uh, it is nearly three to four percent is there. Uh, uh, and hope I think uh, the data might have uh, the percentage might have increased now. But uh, as far as uh, position is concerned, uh, position maybe. India is coming on 13th or 14th uh, position. So this uh, this is the uh, what you call the um, graph I have shown here. Odisha, Punjab, even Haryana. These are the states where they are producing a, a good percentage of uh, mushroom production. Even Himachal Pradesh as well as Uttarakhand, but uh, very low production is there uh, in uh, southern states as well as uh, western states. So when we see the production in our country, in the northern belt, this is uh, what you call uh, uh, near Uttarakhand as well as in the uh, Himachal Pradesh area and uh, some parts even in Jammu Kashmir. You can say uh, button mushrooms are grown. Button mushroom, uh, which is known as Agaricus spiceporus, scientific science in scientific name. And this is the top production of uh, button mushroom in uh, our country, and uh, this is the in the northern belt. And in eastern area, we have a very good uh, mushroom production that is known as uh, shiitake mushroom. Shiitake mushroom. This is uh, Lenchi nula edodis, scientific name Lenchi nula edodis. And in the central part of the country, like in the Chhattisgarh. Even Orissa and some parts of Madhya Pradesh and and some other states like in the central India, we have the production of a pleurotus species of mushroom that is oyster mushroom. You can see the picture of oyster. It is a very beautiful. It looks very beautiful in different colors. And uh, when we see about uh, southern belt in the southern belt. In the eastern, southern, as well as the western, southern areas, uh, we have the production of two different types of uh, mushroom. One is known as a uh, milky mushroom, uh, which is uh, known as Calocyte indica, and uh, milky mushroom as well as uh, this uh, Volvella volvesia, Padista mushroom, both are grown in the southern part of our country. And uh, as I just uh, said, that uh, button mushrooms, Agaricus bisporus, uh, it is uh, its production is very high in our country. Uh, 30 percent production, it is more than 30. Uh, this is of uh, Agaricus bisporus. And when we talk about Pleurotus uh, species, that is oyster, it is uh, it is in second uh, rank, second position. And in the third position, uh, Shiitake mushroom production. So I'll be talking about biodiversity issue. That is uh, mushrooms biodiversity. Some uh, interesting uh, mushrooms uh, you might have uh, seen in uh, uh, what you call uh, even uh, on uh, uh, websites, different websites. This is uh, what you call uh, named as bird's nest mushroom. It looks like the nest of a bird, and uh, inside that the nest. Uh, Uh, you are observing small white uh, egg-like structures, but basically they are peridioles. Uh, these are eggs of the peridioles, and uh, these uh, 
uh, there's these mushrooms, you know, uh, bird nest mushroom. Uh, actually, uh, it, it is a cyathin type uh, fungi members, and uh, they belong to Nudularaceae family, and uh, they are not uh, edible category. They are inedible, inedible in nature, and largely found in the European countries. And nowadays, it has become endangered also. And uh, this is about the bracket mushroom. Uh, many people might have seen on the logs on the stem. Uh, this is the what you call uh, it looks like a shelf. It looks like shelves. That's why this uh, bracket mushroom is uh, named as uh, uh, shelf mushroom or shelf shelf mushroom. And the fruiting body. Uh, this is the fruiting body uh, is also known as pongs. Uh, pongs. So this is a group, uh, uh, actually polyporous uh, fungi, and uh, you are observing uh, uh, the lower surface uh, white uh, structure. Uh, this is the main uh, what you call uh, spore producing structure. From where you can uh, see that this is the spore producing center, and from this area, what you call bestial spores are produced, and it is a bestiomyces member. And Japan in Japan, uh, even. A certain type of uh, bracket mushrooms are used in uh, medicine purpose, even in uh, Japan. This is the another kind uh, of mushroom. Uh, it looks like uh, cauliflower, and uh, this is also called as parasis. And it is a uh, it is a parasite, and uh, uh, even uh, some sparrow uh, saprophytic in nature also there. And it looks like uh, uh, cauliflower or a brain-like structure. And uh, this is uh, another kind of mushroom. Uh, it is a uh, Ramadia butritis. Uh, it looks like a cluster of uh, corals. Uh, coral. It looks like coral. That's why it has been named as a coral mushroom. And uh, this is uh, what you call. Uh, it looks like a black uh, ball. Like uh, basically, you know, it is used uh, uh, in an old uh, folk remedy for. Uh, for night uh, cramps so that's why it has been named as a cramp ball mushroom and uh, it also named as alvinia or else it is also named as cramp balls also okay it's grown on uh, even uh, decaying wood and very interestingly this picture it is uh, it looks a uh, uh, very different way. This is, uh, of course, uh, you are uh, noticing, you are observing that uh, uh, this uh, finger-like uh, projections are coming from the ground level. Basically, this is a saprophytic uh, mushroom, saprophytic fungi, grown from rotting or uh, injured, uh, what you call the uh, piece or uh, scum. And uh, it, it uh, looks like uh, dead man fingers. You can see it, uh, these are the uh, what you call apex uh, terminal part, it looks like uh, what you call the uh, fingers, and uh, uh, this is uh, actually Xyderia polymorpha, uh, and uh, this, the common name is the uh, dead man's mushroom. Now, come to the another category, this is uh, the most uh, poisonous mushroom. So, this uh, whenever you see some yellowish color is there, so you can blindly say that uh, this is a uh, a poisonous one, but it is even it is very difficult to differentiate uh, 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 what you call the edible with the non uh, with poisonous also. Only experts can uh, say that this is a poisonous and this is a edible. But edible. We have already uh, some hundreds of species we have identified, so need not to worry. We can have uh, this edible mushroom. But uh, this is uh, what you called. Uh, uh, what you call this is known as Amanita, Amanita of the Loides. This is the most uh, poisonous mushroom. Uh, in this uh, uh, genus, you know, Amanita, some species are there like Amanita of the Loides, Amanita verna, and Amanita virosa. Uh, virosa. Uh, these are the most uh, Poisonous uh, mushrooms, you know, a single, even a single bite can lead to death. Directly, it attacks to the nervous system, it attacks to the brain. And uh, on this spot, death may occur. Even you might have heard the uh, story of uh, Shakespeare Hamlet, 
where uh, king uh, name uh, what you called a uh, claudius name so claudius said that occurred due to this uh, mushroom there is a long story i am not going to discuss this in detail because we have given a very short time to uh, deliver a lecture so uh, this at least we should have an idea that uh, king claudius death occurred due to this uh, um, mushroom uh, death cap mushroom which is abanicha and another this is the uh, what you called the earth tongue mushroom uh, sorry this is yes earth straw earth the star mushroom this mushroom uh, uh, fruiting body is uh, it is like a stomach shape it is like a stomach sh shape and that's why it is also named as a stomach fungi uh, and uh, uh, actually these uh, unfolded structures you know they are uh, they cover this uh, spherical body stomach structure whenever water falls on this uh, fruiting body and uh, these uh, outer layers which are known as peridium this uh, peridium split or it uh, uncurl uh, and uh, uh, forming star like structure with uh, nearly 4 to 12 uh, ray like structure that fight has been named as uh, earth star mushroom and this is another kind of mushroom you know it is uh, in the north africa asia and europe areas which is uh, uh, black in color and it is earth tongue mushroom and uh, very interestingly another is there it looks like a bridal wheel it looks like a bridal wheel you are, you are noticing here uh, this is the wheel like structure and uh, commonly called uh, bamboo mushroom this is commonly called bamboo mushroom and this uh, wheel you know this uh, this is a skirt it looks like a skirt a lady skirt and this is a white color and this is a yellow uh, wheel or yellow uh, what you call the a lady skirt it looks like a lady skirt so these are of uh, different colors uh, of uh, phalaceous uh, species and this is also uh, you can say mushroom and again you have uh, when we see the diversity plenty of mushroom there only interesting one this is a, a lattice shape that is named as a basket uh, stinkhorn mushroom it is in uh, northern europe grown Uh, what you call northern Europe, it is uh, present in the forest areas. That is mushroom, and this is also another lion's mane mushroom. See, this is uh, uh, what you call it is edible in nature, and uh, it has a medicinal value, medicinal property uh, in the northern America area. Uh, it has a very good uh, uh, production of medicine in the uh, Chinese. so whenever uh, you say that uh, uh, whenever uh, some hair like uh, structures appear on the face which is named as the mane so hair like structures are present in this mushroom that fight is named as lion mane mushroom okay and uh, this is uh, uh, normally uh, you might have seen in the pictures uh, in even uh, uh, what you call uh, small uh, story books also you might have noticed this is a uh, Uh, uh fly agaricus it has an it has an ability to attract the flies this mushroom it has an ability to attract insects and flies and it kills so that's why it is named as uh, fly agaricus so this is a, it looks very beautiful it is uh, beautiful uh, in color and uh, that's why it is named as uh, fly agaricus and uh, another one is uh, the stink horn mushroom uh, they are no, they are known uh, for foul uh, smell and uh, uh, and also for stink spores and this is another one is a trumpet uh, it is a trumpet shape and you all know that uh, one musical instrument comes which is a trumpet shape and it uh, it is the shape of this mushroom is trumpet shape that's why it has been named as uh, trumpet uh, mushroom it is a pluro a plurotus species and uh, edible edible in nature and even uh, found in the middle east area north africa and uh, in uh, cool climate areas uh, they are found and this is uh, finally umbrella shaped mushroom uh, it is also known as ink cap mushroom this uh, uh, it appears you know in uh, grasses in overnight you know uh, uh, in overnight uh, 
within a short span of, uh, it appears and within 24 hours in decay also it uh, disappears that means uh, yeah, it leads to a death so over the following day that is in 24 hours the frames uh, so this is uh, the another and uh, this is the finally you can say that the auricularia uh, the species uh, also uh, this is uh, edible in nature uh, known as wood air mushroom now now to nutritional value this is the important part uh, what i am going to discuss here actually mushrooms are greatest uh, i can say that it is an untapped resources of nutrition and palatable food of the future because mushrooms uh, have uh, very high copper levels very high copper levels it helps to reduce uh, even colon cancer the last speaker he was uh, even uh, talking about uh, minerals i'll be giving some more stress on this part later on so mushrooms uh, uh, it contain uh, nearly 80 to 90 percent of uh, water and 8 to 10 percent of fiber and this is i can say excellent uh, source of vitamin c and vitamin b so all uh, earlier uh, speakers were discussing about uh, uh, the last uh, one year pandemic uh, situation so during this uh, pandemic situation every doctor every person was uh, discussing saying about the immunity immunity power so uh, these are uh, immune uh, boosters i can say that mushrooms are very much immune boosters they have rich uh, vitamin c vitamin b and also vitamin d no other food you find vitamin d you never might have heard about vitamin d in the food item People generally say, go and sit in the sunlight, you will get uh, vitamin D. But here, as I said, that, uh, nearly 80 to 90 percent of uh, water and uh, 8 to 10 percent of fiber. And uh, it is a source of vitamin C, vitamin B, uh, especially folic acid, thiamine, riboflavin, even niacin is also there. And uh, when we talk about uh, minerals, uh, mushrooms, uh, they are uh, rich with uh, potassium, sodium, even copper, phosphorus, magnesium, zinc, all these uh, minerals are present. Potassium, sodium, phosphorus, even copper, zinc and magnesium. So this is a zinc. Zinc is a, zinc is a very 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 important uh, uh, mineral i can say here yeah. and uh, even i have shown here selenium i think selenium is missing here somewhere yeah uh, yeah selenium so selenium uh, it is in the form of uh, seleno protein found in mushroom it has a, it, it is having anti cancerous property anti cancerous property so in the next slide i will show how the mushrooms uh, uh, are having uh, importance uh, uh, in the medical field. So, mushroom uh, effective even against, uh, you can say, cancer in uh, cholesterol reduction, stress, insomnia, asthma, allergy, uh, and so on. So, this is uh, where uh, I would like to say that uh, Indian diet is uh, primarily uh, based on uh, uh, what you call uh, cereals like uh, wheat, uh, maize and rice which are deficient in uh, proteins. But uh, you can say that uh, uh, mushrooms have a very rich amount of proteins, very good amount of uh, amino acids like uh, tryptophan and lysine, which are present in rich amount, tryptophan and lysine. And uh, just now I was uh, discussing that uh, 
mushroom is the only crop which contain vitamin D. Means uh, and uh, mushroom means vitamin D means uh, basically directly you can say uh, we don't have vitamin D. Actually, it has an ergosterol. It is a precursor of vitamin D. Whenever this uh, ergosterol enter into the human way of body, it convert into vitamin D. As we say that uh, uh, what you called uh, carrot, carotene is there. When enter into the human body, this carotene convert into vitamin A. So same thing here. Uh, I can say that uh, this is an ergosterol. Ergosterol is present. It is a precursor of vitamin D. When enter into human body, they convert into vitamin D. Vitamin. D. Now come to the benefits of mushrooms. As uh, uh, here it has been mentioned that uh, first you come to bacterial uh, order. I can say it improve uh, digestive health. It uh, reduces BP and uh, prevent uh, even uh, various types of cancers. So uh, I was saying that uh, it, uh, it is uh, playing a vital role in reducing uh, blood pressure. And uh, it has been uh, noticed that uh, uh, Pleurotus uh, species, that is of a soldier kaju, which is oyster mushroom, in oyster mushroom, lovastatin is uh, found. Lovastatin is a bit help in uh, reducing uh, uh, what you call blood pressure and uh, when we talk about uh, uh, potassium as well as the sodium ratio potassium and sodium ratio it is nearly 110 to 1 percent that means 110 percent of potassium is there in this sodium very meager amount of sodium is present that means uh, we can say that potassium it lowers the blood pressure uh, uh, to stay healthy so people need uh, more amount of uh, potassium to control blood pressure. So if we eat uh, uh, the more potassium, you eat the more sodium, uh, it will process out. Even uh, uh, mushrooms, we have very little amount of uh, uh, sodium. And uh, when we talk about uh, parasaccharides uh, and uh, southern, some other out of uh, bioactive uh, compounds are there, uh, like uh, polysaccharides, diterpenoids, glycoproteins, uh, even immunomodulating uh, uh, compounds are also has been noted. So, so we can say that uh, mushrooms uh, promote uh, uh, immune system or it uh, uh, it boosts uh, health also. And uh, here. It prevents uh, various uh, types of cancers. Among the uh, various types of cancers, uh, prostate it has been uh, uh, studied in the various research. It has been found that uh, it prevents uh, prostate cancer because uh, fresh mushrooms are capable of uh, arresting action of 5 uh, alpha reductase as well as arom aroma aromatase enzymes responsible for growth of uh, cancerous. Uh, Tumors, okay, and uh, next to the slide, yeah. this is a. Uh, uh, I can say this is a very interesting Himalayan Vigra, which is under threat. Uh, you might have seen in the newspapers uh, recently. Uh, uh, this is actually, this mushroom is not uh, saprophytic. This is a parasitic mode of uh, mushroom. This is very interesting. Parasitic mushroom, basically it grow on a caterpillar. So you can uh, imagine like a capsicum. It looks like a capsicum and uh, a small, uh, what you call uh, uh, petiole structure, it has been noted. I discuss this is actually this caterpillar. Uh, uh, it is uh, found uh, uh, in the Himalayan areas. It is in the elevation of uh, more than eleven thousand uh, feet. Uh, so, which is known as uh, caterpillar mushroom. So, for growing this uh, mushroom, or uh, it is uh, it require temperature, very low temperature. 
it requires winter temperature below even zero degree. And this uh, is uh, what you call, uh, it is uh, commonly named as Himalayan Baigra, but the scientific name of this mushroom uh, is Cordyceps sinensis or Ophiocordyceps sinensis. And in the northern belt, uh, it is known as uh, Kida Jedi, also Ersa Gomba or Jeevan Bhuti. Uh, sometimes it has been called as Kida Ghas, uh, Caterpillar Fungus, and uh, even people called as a Sanjeevani Bhuti. Sanjeevani Bhuti. Sanjeevani Bhuti just might have heard about uh, the name. So, this is uh, uh, what we call uh, how this. Uh, uh, is uh, spreading this mushroom as a, uh, what called uh, attack on the insect body and uh, this is uh, what we call uh, the spore producing area whenever spores these uh, spores uh, directly it uh, attacks uh, the caterpillar and uh, you are uh, observing here infected larvae is, uh, it moves uh, uh, below to soil surface and uh, uh, facing its uh, head upwards and small uh, projection starts appearing from this area and uh, this fungus grow out of the insect. This is actually, this is the fungus is growing. This is uh, what I was saying that uh, this is uh, what you call caterpillar, caterpillar mushroom. Uh, this is uh, this mushroom is, uh, uh, on the caterpillar and finally uh, it leads to death of a caterpillar. Caterpillar will die and uh, this is the protruding uh, uh, structures which comes out from the mushroom uh, or this is the caterpillar body. And uh, I have mentioned here that uh, which is named as uh, Himalayan Vigra. It is also known as Himalayan Vigra. And uh, it is it is having a very important uh, medicinal value. It is used to cure cancer as an anti protein drug in uh, uh, China as well as in the world. It has a very high market. Internet it is there because uh, uh, one gram of powder of this uh, cordyceps it is uh, nearly to thirty five hundred to four 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 thousand rupees. So it is like, uh, more than gold price. Uh, one kg uh, of uh, powder of this, uh, uh, what you call Himalaya, uh, Kida Jedi mushroom, uh, it is uh, in the market nearly. Okay, I'll uh, stop uh, sharing. I'll continue with this only because uh, only two, four slides are left. So I was saying that uh, it, it's having a medicinal value. It is uh, it is used to cure cancer. It has anti potent drug. Even uh, athletes, uh, even athletes uh, were using this uh, uh, this uh, mushroom because in doping test uh, uh, this will not be traced out. This uh, what you call the drug. And uh, some uh, we in our lab uh, we are even growing uh, this. Uh, uh, mushroom uh, like Calocyte Indica and we have started doing research on this uh, mushroom and hopefully we are going to set up a laboratory also in future. So what I would like to uh, say that mushroom is uh, considered to be a complete uh, health food suitable for all age groups uh, from child to even aged people and uh, in mushrooms uh, uh, what you call pharmacologically active compound surfaces it is, uh, it is uh, showing uh, anti uh, microbial property it has anti viral anti tumor anti tumor anti allergic uh, immunomodulating and anti inflammatory anti therogenic and uh, hypoglycemic and hepatoprotective so uh, all these uh, uh, properties we can find in mushroom. So finally, finally, I I suggest I would like to say that mushroom can uh, prevent and treat uh, many diseases, many diseases, and uh, even researchers have a very good uh, scope to do research on this this area, and it uh, boosts even overall health. So 
as well as it helps to heal complete uh, planet so i recommend uh, and uh, i hope you also uh, recommend uh, to eat uh, uh, mushrooms so uh, thank you very much and also i apologize uh, uh, for uh, interruption a lot of interruption was there uh, and finally i thank uh, my colleague uh, my friend uh, professor halim khan sir as well as i thank uh, giriraj college as well as uh, uh, ccg for providing me an opportunity to speak on this uh, international seminar thank you sir thank you one and all